All right, guys, so um, uh, one of our last options would be payment receipts. This one's a great one, uh, so definitely stay tuned for this one. So the first option that we're going to go over is automatically print customer receipt after each order. I always recommend this for sit-down restaurants that always give a secondary ticket um, to the customer that they do need to sign and leave a tip on. And then you can also click an option here that says skip receipt screen and begin next transaction. I would only recommend that option on if the automatically print customer receipt after each order option is on because it's then you'd have to go back to orders app, click on the order, click reissue receipt click payment receipts just too much too many extra steps so if you are gonna have that option on make sure you have the second option on as well um, option number two is mark items as printed when printing a bill I never ever turn this on for any of my clients basically what it's gonna do is if, if we had that box checked off you can see um, actually you can't see it on there but it will just have a PR button meaning it was printed next to each item I don't recommend it on the payment receipt doesn't really seem necessary but the options there if you need it Next, um, we're going to go over what the receipt actually looks like. So the receipt logo, this would actually be done on the Clover dashboard. So if you have a logo for your business, you can put that onto all of your payment receipts. Next option would be custom header text. If that's anything you wanted to, you know, let the customers know about to follow you guys on Instagram. That'll print on the top of the payment receipt, aka the header. Order note, I never recommend having the order note on the payment receipt because you're usually saying, oh, customer in red hat or seafood allergy. Not usually a reason to have it on the receipt, but there is an option there. Cashier name, um, if you want to have the server name on there, so in case the customer has an issue with your order or they love something about it, wanted to leave a review, they'd be able to see their cashier or server name. Next, we got line items. Um, of course, you're going to want this checked on because that's just showing you a detailed receipt. Modifiers, I love selecting this option here, only price modifiers, because you don't want a long list of all the modifiers, like for example, medium rare for the burger. You don't need on there, only the ones that are going to be adding money. Group items by guest is good when you're printing a bill through Clover Dining, so each guest knows what they purchased. Online receipt URL is just a website they can go to find their receipt. Barcode, just easier for you to pull up the uh, the order later on. Um, let's say the customer comes in with an issue, or if they wanted to come back and return something, you could just scan that barcode into your orders app. Good to go. Customer information, we went over this. It's the same thing as the order receipts one. Then lastly for the setup.